this month's tip is don't forget simultaneous requirements. The standard tells us that when features and patterns of features have the same datum reference, they are considered to be a pattern. This rule is not well understood, but it is a rule. If we take a look at this drawing, we have three datum features called out. A is the surface, B is the hole, that establishes an axis, and C, the width, stops rotation about that axis. If we were to design a gauge for that part, these would be the, the values for the gauge. If you download this tip and calculate the virtual conditions, I think you'll find that these numbers are correct. If, however, we were to take a look at another drawing that does exactly the same control, here we only have one datum being referenced, but all of the features are referenced to that datum. Because of the rule of simultaneous requirements then, all of these features are a single pattern and they must meet their tolerances simultaneously. So, the very same gauge we saw for the first drawing would work for this one. They're identical. Simultaneous requirements works well when you're checking a part using an overlay on an optical comparator or, as we saw, a hard gauge. However, if you're trying to check a part like this with a coordinate measure machine or layout inspection, you'll find simultaneous requirements can be very difficult to inspect. Since the design intent didn't change, and both drawings have the same meaning, the person making the drawing should definitely take into consideration how the part will be inspected. And I'll see you next month. Thank <laughs> you.